along tonight. These events don't happen by accident or by chance. And uh, when we put this event up on Facebook only a few days ago, people started responding immediately, and we have this enormous crowd here tonight. Several thousand of us here tonight. And I understand some of the media think this is a small and moderate crowd, and it's, um, it's apparently the sort of thing that happens every night all over the country, in political meetings everywhere. Um, so I just say to them, generally, um, do some maths and realize how many people are now engaged seriously in politics because they want to see change and they see the possibility of change and above all they see their involvement in how that change can come about. The love. So to those of you who come tonight, the love we have for you. you. Thank you very much. But also to the many people that are following us tonight live streamed on Facebook. Thank you for following us and thank you for joining in because this campaign is a campaign for the leadership of the Labour Party, of course, but it's also a big discussion, a big debate about the kind of society and kind of politics we want. The, many of the um, straight media simply don't get it and don't understand it, that thousands of people actually want to be involved their voice to be heard, their views to be listened to, and they are able to make a contribution to bring about a decent, fair, and just society which is possible. That can only be done if we're all involved in a decent, respectful way. But political movements don't come about by accident. They're built on a long past a long past of people that have made huge sacrifices to bring about elements of justice, to bring about the rights that we have. This area where this huge now church is, is a place where there's been enormous radical struggles over many years, where many migrant communities made their homes in Kilburn, particularly the Irish community. They suffered discrimination and abuse. They suffered appalling work practices, they also came together in enormous strength to try to bring justice to the building industry, to try to bring... Who <laughs> says that communities don't come together? It was Irish building workers who supported the women of Grunwick in the strike the there. the late, great Tom Durkin and Mrs Desai together on the picket line at Grunwick demanding rights of representation at work, absolutely united together. They couldn't have been more different in their background, they couldn't have been more united in their principles, their policies and the kind of world they want to live in. and so many other of those campaigns. Every one of those that was successful, as was Hillsborough eventually, and will be your grief eventually. So we need to be strong in our appreciation of all those that have gone before and that have taught us so much. Because when we understand our own history of our movement, the sacrifices that were made to found trade unions, to found the Labour Party, to found so many other justice organisations, we then have an appreciation of where our strength comes from and where from those lessons we can go forward. I also want you to say, if you would, a big thank you to all the volunteers who are part of our campaign. Not just those that put together tonight's event, but all those that are working in so many other ways on phone banks, on social media, on leafleting, on street stalls, on campaigning events, on speaking up at party meetings, union meetings, and all those campaigning groups. There's something that brings us together. 
and it is a thirst for a more decent, a democratic society, the socialist values that unite us. It's that that brings us together, but it's our thanks we owe to those that make sure day in and day out of happiness.